Hi, um, welcome to the HIV clinic at the Department of Junior Medicine in Sheffield. Um, this is a, a short video just to introduce you to um, some of the members of staff that you might meet during um, your appointments at the clinic. Um, so you'll meet uh, one of the nurse specialists, Sandra, one of the consultants, Claire, and myself, Katie, one of the health advisors. Hello, I'm Sandra, the clinical nurse specialist of the, this little unit, this HIV unit in Sheffield. Um, we look after approximately 400 patients. We're a small and friendly unit and I'm going to show you around here. We are based at the Royal Holmshire Hospital. Quite easy to find and so we're going to start now. Okay. This is our reception area. We see men and women here. But if you would prefer to be kept separately, we can do that. We have separate rooms where we can see you. So let's come through the door. Yeah, I we have a small nursing office. And we have a, a little team here who are running away and hiding from this film. We have... To, some counselling rooms which is set up like this. This is just one of them. Here we would talk to you. Um, you might see a health advisor in this room or you might just feel more comfortable to sit in a room like this rather than in a cl clinical room. We have all sorts of information that you want to gather which we keep for you, but also we have a resource room which I'll show you a bit later. Hi, I'm Katie, I'm one of the health advisor team at the HIV clinic at GU Medicine. Um, just to explain a little bit about our role, um, we see people um, regarding actually having their HIV testing and then support them regarding their results, so whether that be negative or positive. Um, what we would do if somebody does test positive, um, we actually continue their support throughout their time at the clinic. So. Um, what generally happens when somebody tests positive is they're allocated a health advisor. It might be that they've already met that person um, who supported them through the test, or they may be allocated a new health advisor if they didn't meet anybody initially. Um, what we hope to do in the first few you know, months or weeks after diagnosis is support somebody emotionally and think about some of the, the practical issues and concerns that people have. Um, so many people are worried about um, who to tell and how to tell. That could be family, friends, um, employers. It could be sexual partners or other people who may have had um, a risk with them. And we can support people with that and that process is called um, partner notification. Um, it can be quite stressful, so obviously we try and make sure that somebody's comfortable with um, what they decide to do and who they decide to tell. And we look at the benefits and, and, you know, and some of the problems that can arise through that process and hope to support people with that. Um, another part of our role as well is um, thinking about supporting maybe friends and family who have been affected by um, someone's diagnosis. They may not have much information themselves, they may be really worried for the, the family member or friend who's been diagnosed and we can see people and book appointments, they can book appointments direct with us to talk through their concerns and also get some more information as well to make, um, make the situation a little bit easier to deal with. Um, kind of thinking more long term what we also do is look at um, the kind of other resources people might need. They might want to speak to a social worker about financial issues, housing issues. Um, we work really closely with them so we can refer in or discuss cases with a social work team. Um, somebody might be struggling kind of emotionally and psychologically. Um, we're really lucky to have the clinical psychology team here and um, what we can do is discuss referrals directly with our psychologists but also with their guidance we can help to support people as well if somebody isn't ready to take that step to see a, a psychologist. Um, for many people, um, kind of over the years following a diagnosis, we can support them with lots of different issues. There might be change in their home situation, change with relationships. They might have concerns about um, their sexual relationships and how the HIV is impacting upon that. Uh, and that's something where we're more than happy to, to discuss with people and hopefully support them with that. This is a clinical room. You'll see the doctor in a room like this. You'll also see nurses and you'll have a thorough examination. We will take blood 
and in the early stages would take quite a bit of blood. But follow-up visits are much shorter. We would expect you to see you about every three to four months to check your viral load and your CD4 count to ensure that you stay well and you will keep coming to your appointments and take your treatment correctly. Hi, I'm Claire Jusap, I'm one of the GU consultants. I work at Sheffield Teaching Hospital. And um, if you were coming to our clinic as a new patient, you would expect to see a doctor and a nurse. You'd expect to have bloods taken on your first appointment. You'd expect to have some discussion with your health advisor about what's likely to happen to you in terms of both immediately and in the long term in terms of prognosis. And um, then we'd discuss with you relatively quickly after that, um, within a couple of weeks, we'd see you and talk to you about your results and what you'd expect um, on the basis of those results. And we'd take you through all the different types of tests that we do and what that means to you as a person. This room is set up as a resource room. We have plenty of written information for you. Also, if you don't have access to a computer, you can use the computer in this room to locate sites like the Terence Higgins Trust or our website. Um, hello again, I um, hope you found it useful um, getting some information about our service and the people that you meet. Um, just on one final note, um, what we would strongly encourage you to do if yourself or somebody you know is really worried about HIV uh, and that they might be affected by HIV, um, please feel free to contact ourselves or a clinic like us. Um, what we do know now with HIV is that um, once somebody's engaged with the clinic and they're attending the appointments, we can aim to keep you well and to keep you well and to, to live into old age. So, you know, come and see us, speak to us on the phone. If you don't feel able to now, do it as soon as possible. Thank you.